dear colleagues, in the name of the Swiss Archaeological School in Greece, I like to welcome you to the session Sanctuaries of Euboea Island, Greece and its colonies, recent excavations and studies. Uh, I like to welcome you also in Bern for those who are coming from far away. I'm sorry for the bad Swiss weather or our Greek guests that are not used, uh, but uh, welcome anyway. Uh, with the recent, um, I think uh, one thing first, uh, as you can see, there are some annual reports of the Swiss Archaeological School here on the first table. You can uh, take them uh, after if you like. And second, I will sit down that everyone can see the PowerPoint. So with the recent discoveries and uh, studies concerning these sanctuaries, um, for example, the work done re recently at Plakari in Karistos, the study of the sanctuary of Apollon in Tsarakes, or the sanctuary of Athena in Eretria, the discovery of the sanctuary of Apollon Selinaios at Rovies, and last but not least, the discovery of the sanctuary of Artemis Amarisia in Amarintos are enough indications that to say that the time is ready now uh, to sit together to have an exchange of results and problems and to start a general discussion about the situation of the Euboean sanctuaries. The aim of my introduction on the extra urban sanctuaries of Euboea is not to present you some recent research about this topic, but to resume what we know actually about the sanctuaries, to put some questions and to define some points of research that should be done in the future. Euboea is the sixth largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, the second largest of Greece after Crete. The Greek geographer Strabo mentioned that the distance from the Cap Canaion in the north uh, to Gerastos in the south is about 2,200 uh, stadia and that its breadth is irregular and generally only 150 stadia. This corresponds in fact at the length of 180 kilometers and the breadth of between 6 and 50 kilometers. The total surface of the island is 3,661 kilometers. On such a big surface, we expect also a big number of archaeological sites of different periods, not only settlements, but also some important extra-urban sanctuaries. Looking at the map of Euboea in the 4th century, oh sorry, in the 4th century before Christ, we recognize that the island was divided at that time in four major territories, the so-called Chorai. In the north, we find the city of Histiaia. In the center, the two largest territories of Chalkis and Eretia, and in the south of the city of Charistos. The frontiers between the different city territories are hypothetical, with maybe the exception of the frontier between the core of Eretria and Charistos, which must lie, as I supposed in an article in 2002, at the southern slope of the Ayos Nikolaos hill behind Styra, or as Silvian Fascia supposed in the 21st volume of the series Eretria, published in 2012, some kilometers more in the south, in the area of the Filagra hill opposite the town of Marmaris. Looking now at the different sanctuaries inside these wide territories, we see that every city territory controlled minimum one, but mostly two or even three extra urban sanctuaries, from that which, what we know. The most important source on the existence of these sanctuaries is the geographer Strabo, which mentioned in his 10th book, the sanctuaries of Apollon Selinuntios in Orobia, The sanctuary of Apollon Marmarinos at Marmarion, the sanctuary of Poseidon in Geraistos, the sanctuary of Zeus Kenaios, the sanctuary of Apollon at Tamunai, 
the Sanctuary of Artemis Amarisia in Amarintos and the Sanctuary of Poseidon in Aigai. Not mentioned by Strabo is the Sanctuary of Artemis Poseoa in the Cora of Histiaia. Informations about this sanctuary are either found in the works of Plutarch or from inscriptions. A help for the knowledge of these sanctuaries could also be the much later source of Stephanos of Byzantion, which mentioned the Artemision in Amarintos and the sanctuary of Poseidon in Geraistos, the polis of Artemision, the Mount Cotilion, which was dedicated to Artemis, and the Mount Oche near Karistos, which was dedicated to Zeus and Hera. I have not the time here to discuss all the written sources concerning the Eubean sanctuaries. These are collected in the dissertation of Manuel Ariana Perez, an important work which is unfortunately not published yet. I will also not discuss here the sanctuaries of Tsarakes, Plakari and Karababa, which are going to be presented by Athena Hatsidimitriou and Jan Paul Krielat, nor the recently discovered sanctuary of Artemis Amarisia, which will be presented by Tobias Krapp. I like just, just to uh, put some lights on the major extra burn sanctuaries in order to give some basis for future research. The main deities worshipped in the extra-urban sanctuaries of Euboea Island are certainly Apollon, as you can see, and his sister Artemis, followed by Zeus and Poseidon. Apollon is present also in an important intramural sanctuary, for ex in, in important intramural sanctuary, for example, in Eretria, in the famous sanctuary of Apollon Daphneforos. Other deities are certainly also worshipped inside the Eubean polis, but we can here not enter in discussion as we were dealing here only with the extra urban sanctuaries. I will start my uh, uh, paper with two major sanctuaries in the north of the island, controlled by the city of Histiaia, the sanctuary of uh, Zeus Kenaion and uh, the sanctuary of Artemis Proseoa. For the sanctuary of Zeus at Cap Kenaion, uh, we have uh, inscriptions and written sources. Written sources, I, I just put one here, uh, Sophocles uh, Trachinius, um, which uh, says that in Euboea there is a promontory, the Cap Kenaion, there he dedicates altars and sacred wood to Zeus Patros. So it's um, uh, a place where we have a, a meet, a very important meet, the meet of Heracles, uh, which uh, was uh, die, which died there uh, with the, um, uh, the gift from uh, his wife Deanera. Another uh, source is the inscription found in uh, Anovatia near Amarintos. Uh, it's the treaty between Histiaia and Eretria, dated about 400 uh, before Christ. And in this uh, treaty, we can read that, uh, yeah, as usual, uh, there are two examples of a treaty, and one has to be exposed in Amarintos, in Toi Hieroi, in the sanctuary, and the other one. Uh, uh, from Istiaia in the Kinaioi. And this is very important because it shows us that this, uh, that this sanctuary of Zeus at Cap Kinaion was one of the most important sanctuaries of the city of Istiaia, where they exposed uh, uh, these uh, inscriptions, treaties, and uh, other uh, kind of inscriptions. From the archaeological side, there are um, there was some say excavations, but uh, old excavations from Papadakis and uh, Papa Vesiliu. Uh, today, uh, I don't know. I've been there uh, twenty years ago, so we, uh, one could see some some uh, stones again. But I don't know how it is today. But I think this is a place uh, where we can, uh, where we should also in the future invest to make some investigations. The other sanctuary uh, uh, of Artemis Porseo uh, in, the main, in, in the same Cora is uh, uh, known, as I told you, from sources of Plutarch but, and others, but uh, um, 
there is one uh, very important inscription. It is this uh, uh, inscription found on a hill called Aios uh, Yorgos. And uh, this is an inscription uh, with names and uh, all these people, men, uh, which na were named on this inscription, they helped to uh, renovate the sanctuary of uh, Artemis um, and uh, also the Agalma, um, it means the uh, statue uh, of cult. And this is a very, a very important inscription because first uh, it's, uh, we have the name of the sanctuary, this Tohierotis Artemidas, this Prosiorias, and we have also um, uh, the name of the people mentioned there with the demos from where they are. So we have an idea of the different demoi, the different uh, places inside the Hora of um, Istiaia. Lolling uh, in the 19th century uh, was uh, the first and the only one who made uh, excavations at this place. Uh, as you can see, it's at Ayos um, uh, Yorgos, where it's the circle Artemision written. Uh, this uh, is in a region called Kurbatsi, and Kurbatsi was the territory, uh, the owner of the territory was a man from Switzerland, from Bern, Rudolf von, von Wild. He owned this, uh, uh, all this uh, territory in the 19th century, and uh, he was also in contact with Lolling, and Lolling uh, made uh, some excavations, some trenches, but uh, he found, uh, apart from some uh, architectural elements, he found uh, most of his uh, walls dated uh, in Byzantine or Roman times, so we have nothing uh, clear about uh, the existence of a sanctuary from the classical and Hellenistic times at this place. And uh, we have also to say that uh, maybe uh, the place on top of this uh, small hill, um, where today is the uh, small church of Ayas Yorgos, is maybe not the ideal place uh, for an Artemision, because the uh, sanctuaries of Artemis are, when you look around the Gulf of uh, Euboea, uh, we can take Brauron, we can take Halai, we can take Aulis, uh, uh, the Artemision from Aramarintos, it's usually uh, just at the shore of the beach. So, uh, um, uh, Tony Knöpfler, uh, he uh, supposed that maybe the Artemision was not at the place where Lolling was looking for, but at uh, the place called Paleo Castro, so it's the second one uh, that I uh, have put here on the slide. Uh, now we go for the uh, further south, and uh, we had recently a very important discovery concerning the oracle or sanctuary of Apollon Selinaios or Selinuntios. Um, as we know from Strabo, I, I put, have, uh, put um, uh, you the text here, uh, that uh, there is in Europa a uh, sanctuary, Manteion, to Selinuntiu Apollonos, to Apollonos Selinuntius. And now um, uh, the research uh, made in uh, 2000, about uh, 2001, uh, showed uh, at a place called Aios Taxiaches. Um, that there are some walls and uh, in first line they found some fragments of inscriptions. The first one, the smaller fragment, uh, is uh, mentioning, mentions the city of Istiaia, as you can see, and a Hiereia, so it must be in connection with the sanctuary. And uh, the second one um, mentions Apolloni to Selinaioi. So you see there is a difference between uh, the text of Strabo and this inscription. And uh, um, we, we think maybe uh, the inscription is right and there was maybe some mistake in the um, uh, text of Strabo, not in the text, but in the transcription, a late transcription of the text of Strabo. The name uh, could come maybe as uh, Manuel Ariona uh, supposed uh, from a, a river 
or from uh, the selino, uh, from the plant uh, of selino. So maybe it is uh, called the sanctuary of Apollon Selinaios and not Selinuntios. And um, uh, so, as you can see, we are here at the beginning also of a, uh, of a new discovery and the, it needs uh, certainly more research to do. Uh, then uh, we are in the Cora of Eretria, uh, the sanctuary of Apollon at Taminae which uh, uh, Strabo also mentioned and uh, saying in the Retrian territory there was a city Taminae, sacred, sacred to Apollon, founded, as they say, by Admetos. And this uh, was a big problem a uh, long time because Admetos is a hero known from Thessaly and not from Euboea. But uh, recently um, in the Swiss excavations in the Roman bases from Eretria, uh, we found uh, an inscription or some uh, fragments of an inscription where it's, um, we can read uh, Polemarchias Filis Admitis. So there was a file in the Chora of Eretria called Admitis. And uh, Knöpfler thinks that uh, this is the file uh, connected with the uh, polis of Tamine. And uh, um, so um, polis that he um, think uh, was in the uh, region of Avlonarion. Uh, and in fact, um, all the excavations made uh, in the 1940s by Constantino and Travos, they brought to light uh, some um, uh, architectural, uh, architectural elements uh, that could be uh, from a temple. The question uh, here is, is the sanctuary of Apollo Natamina uh, intramuros or an extramuros sanctuary? We don't know it in fact, but we have some uh, ideas that um, um, in the inscription uh, 990 from the inscription on the 12, uh, we can read that there were some, uh, there is some uh, like a sac sacred wood some um, boscon, uh, shepherds, and other animals in this region. So, uh, as also Manuel uh, supposed, maybe a sacred wood. So, it would be an argument to say it is outside of the town. And uh, as um, Danny Knepfler uh, was also um, um, saying that. Um, as we know from Aeschines, for example, there must be a hippodrome there. And from other inscriptions, we know that there were some uh, uh, competitions, uh, different kinds. We can read uh, hippois, uh, uh, horses. We can also read music, kitarotas, etc. There's even a Parthenon gymnon. Uh, we don't know if it's uh, really a competition for young uh, women. But um, uh, what I like to say, so there are some uh, sportive competitions around the uh, festivities in honor to Apollon, and they uh, are certainly uh, made outside of the town so that we can think that maybe uh, the hippodrome and uh, also these, um, uh, uh, these places where they made the competitions was outside of the town. Uh, Knöpfler, he thinks that the police of Taminae uh, has to be situated uh, on the hill Paleo Castri. Then uh, the last one is the sanctuary of Poseidon in Geraistos, uh, where we have uh, also the text from Strabos um, and other a uh, lot of other texts that mention this sanctuary. I think here we are sure that the sanctuary uh, has to be placed in in the Bay of Geraistos, uh, indicated here on the map map near Karistos. Uh, we have here a picture of the bay. Uh, there were also found uh, some inscriptions, and I mentioned just one, uh, and also walls and uh, other th things. I uh, mentioned all, uh, only one inscription, the famous Kimolian decree, uh, found in Geraistos, and um, this is a decree uh, where, um, made by uh, the island of Kimolos, and there was um, on this island some uh, legal problems uh, that they had, could not resolve by themselves. So they asked the king Antigonos 
Uh, we don't know which one those are not Donatus, but in any way, it's in the third century before Christ. And Antigonus sent a church from a neutral church from the town of uh, Caristos. He uh, solved this problem and uh, he got some honors from uh, the Kimolians and also a decree. Uh, uh, also, in this uh, case, uh, in uh, Two exemplars. Uh, one uh, has to put was put um, in the exposed in the sanctuary of At Athena in Kimolos, and the other one in the sanctuary of Poseidon in Geraistos. Uh, just one thing uh, that is uh, interesting that uh, in Geraistos is also mentioned a sanctuary of Artemis Polosia. Uh, in connection with a, a, a monument um, uh, offered by Agamemnon, a ship monument, so a ship of marble. And we don't know if this uh, sanctuary of Artemis Polosia was inside the sanctuary of Poseidon or if it was a sanctuary apart. So there are other questions here to um, um, put on this uh, sanctuary. So to uh, resume, um, yes, we could also mention uh, Platanistos. We could also mention uh, the Dracospita on the Mount Ophi in connection maybe with the cult, cult of Hera and Zeus. We can uh, mention other um, places, but I think from the most, the biggest one and the most important one, we can say that uh, in fact we have two are uh, certainly not located, the uh, uh, sanctuary of Artemis Proseoa and the other one in, Mar in uh, Marmari uh, from Apollo Marmarinos where we have uh, not uh, a lot of uh, sources. Then we have uh, some sanctuaries where, uh, which need further research in Capcanaion the uh, newly discovered uh, sanctuary of Apollon Selinaias, but also uh, Taminae and Geraistos. And uh, the only one, and uh, this is Tobias Krapf uh, who uh, will present it, which is now uh, the most uh, um, known uh, of all these sanctuary is the Artemis Amarisia sanctuary in uh, Amarintos. I didn't speak about Aigai, the sanctuary of uh, Poseidon at Aegis, uh, because there's a lot of other problems uh, in the sources. It's mentioned that it, there is a palace of Poseidon on the water, but uh, in other uh, sources they say it may be uh, in, in the region of uh, Limni, so uh, near the Apollon Selinaio uh, sanctuary. Um, Don Keller uh, supposed that it could be in Achampolis, so in the south of uh, uh, Evia. So there are different problems connected with this sanctuary, so that I, I don't like to enter in question uh, for this. I thank you uh, for your attention. And uh, as I told you, you can uh, take the uh, reports, the annual reports from here. And uh, we will continue uh, with the second uh, keynote uh, from uh, Sandrine Huber, uh, from Gestures to Traces, Eubians in the Sanctuaries at Home and Along the Sea, sea Roads. Thank you.